Hi guys, Rich here, hope you're all well. Right, so I'm back out of this Worcester. Um, what I've done, I've had to do a full rewire. Um, nothing was right, it was pretty terrible. Um, just to get the controls aspect working, I've put Evo Home in. So I've put an underfloor heating controller. Um, I've wired it all with uh, hot water priority. So you've got underfloor heat manifold there. Yes, the hydronics are wrong. I know I've got to come back. Well, I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to get a mate of mine to sort this out. Um, and yeah, but I've done all the controls. So we're all now running tickety-boo um, on this side. So I've done relay boxes. So if you do an Evo, need to space them out 300 millimeters minimum. Okay, so I haven't got much space here because I've got a great big cylinder here and there's not loads of space down here. So I'll put them up high level up here. So 300 mil apart, best I can do here because um, it's not an ideal situation, but I've got Evo, Evo is in here, over there on the table. Uh, and the columns through this wall. Look how thick the wall is, All right? So that's how thick the wall is. There like that. And we're still getting the columns through fine. Um, I've tested the RF comms, got good RF comms, the CS92A down there is good and I've put the aerial in the HCC80, I've took it out the HRA80 and mounted it internally um, because it's just a neater job. So like I said, I've wired this priority, I've put a resistor in here, I've put a 10k ohm resistor uh, where the hot water sensor would be, so the boiler thinks it's about 30 degrees Celsius. Uh, I've wired the um, the primary pump into the primary pump connection. I've done um, hot and uh, I've done hot water uh, switch lived in, and I've done um, heating switch lived in as well. Um, I've, I've literally done all, redone it all. I've put all ferrules on it, nice and neat. Um, I've re-cabled it. Um, yeah, because it was a, it was a bloody mess. So I've done that. Uh, there's a few things to sort out. The pumps, are, the pump the valves are leaking, so crap. Um, and yeah, the plumbing and you know, stuff is a right mess. Um, so that needs to be sorted to a certain extent. But I've moved the pump from vertically up to down. Like I said, it's best I can do with a bad job at the moment. Um, but like I said, at the moment, we've got hot water priority running. And let me show you. So as you can see, we are in hot water mode. It's flashing, so we've got switch live on the domestic hot water. We've got hot water mode. It thinks it's got a cylinder sensor, so it's gone to hot water mode. Um, Evo's doing the priority. So what I've done, I've wired Evo up, but it does hot water priority. I've put a relay in here, um, a little switching relay. So when the hot water comes on, it, it uh, makes the relay and breaks all the connections to all the zone valves. So it breaks the connection to this zone valve. So even if this is cooling, uh, the switch live on this goes through this relay up here, and then the relay then powers the valve, and then the, the motorized zone valve then powers the pump. And the same up here, uh, this motorized zone valve uh, powers that pump up there. So that motorized zone powers that pump. So I've managed to get it all up and running. Um, it's not perfect. I'm gonna have to come back and quote to have a look at the, <clears throat> like I say, get the hydronic side done because it's, it's rubbish. But the control side now is working perfectly, as you can see. So that's boiler demand relay there. Uh, this is one of the center brand stats that they had. Um, I've used the, the relay box, the BDR91, but you know, it's a rebranded, it's an OEM version, Residio OEM version of the relay. Um, they make this for center brand, as you all guys know. Um, and then, right, that's how the hot water kit. Uh, it's been a fun one. Uh, it's took a whole day um, to do it all, um, but I've tried to be as neat as I can. I am. I try and do things neat and tidy. Um, you can see it's a hell of a lot better than the pictures I put up um, the other day. But like I said, we now have controls and a boiler that works. And you see, this has gone at higher temp for doing the hot water recovery and the heating is much lower temp. Amazing.